What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off happened last time, we had another big battle down here against Ottoman forces where it ended up being quite like uh, spinning lots of plates as there were battles all over the shop. Um, I landed in another force here in the Greek islands, in the Greek, um, in the Balkans, sorry, to attack uh, Belgrade, and I think I will do so. I'll maintain siege for now actually and I've also landed landed one army on the northern shores of Hanover to go and try and threaten that region and I'm also going to bring in another navy another army in well next turn it'll be two armies actually so let's take this navy and Leroy Aldridge back to up here so next turn I'll be able to bring in these two forces from these two full stacks from, not from um, the UK land them in northern Germany Got these stacks coming in through the Balkans up to um, Austria and Bavaria. I've still got some errant Prussian stacks running around my territory, and that's just fine. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really bothered about making sure I keep them out of this area because right now this is sort of my my anchor. They won't break through this line. Um, however, they will have vulnerabilities trying to break through this next line. So let's go back to the United, to the continental United States. Sir. Ah, so this army is complete. So let's build a sloop. Oh no, actually, do I need to build a sloop? Got some fourth rates. Displace my militia for now. Peter Payne. <laughs> let's get Peter Payne. So let's get Peter Payne in. Let's get this fleet of fourths and uh, Archibald Strickland. Let's get them to Europe. Then let's use my put my militia back in the port. Good. And let's start. Oh yeah, I already am. Cornelius Brown. Oh, it is under you. I'm getting my thing. Cool. Okay, so Cornelius Brown. You will get some pog standard twelve pounders. Some big 24 pound howitzers and a unit of US volunteer infantry just to remind me that it's an American unit. Ah! You already have some of these. So let's knock them, one of those on the head, one of those on the head, and instead go for two units of provincial scouts. Good, good. Yeah, I do have this army sat here on the uh, on the border. So as soon as they do, Spain does declare war on me. They will just push right up, take Antigua, take New Mexico, take these two territories, and then I'll have conquered pretty much all territories that except belong to France, which is good for me. Okay, I can hear an ice cream man. <laughs> um, cool, things are going okay. Ooh, Norway could be a tasty little capture actually. Norway, who are you? Protector of Sweden. I'm not at war with Sweden, so I'm going to leave you alone for now then. It is tempting. Diplomacy. Spain. Demand access for five turns. We'll offer you eight grand. I was tempted to try to get military access so I could go through northern Italy up through the pass in the Alps and then hit Munich directly. But it was not meant to be, and it looks like they're already starting to reinforce this area with some very elite troops. Which is good, it's what we want. Cool, but I think it's time to end turn. You can't recruit troops, but you will be able to soon. No, weirdly, you can't recruit just regular troops. Um, Cairo can. Cairo can recruit Native African line, which is okay, which is what I build. So. Cool. Sit and turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, leave them for now. Ready and waiting for. Okie dokie. 
we reincarnate. I guess it's just a, a flag problem. You know, they're not quite marrying up. Well, to be honest, once I, if, if France, if me and France end up being the only countries I'm standing, I'll just invade their island, capture it, and then all of the American territories become pirates. Although, to be honest, if I walk, if I steamroll through Europe, I would like to um, be. I'd like to effectively make that make my my effort be against all of India. So if I'm starting to get through Europe very quickly, then I'll just declare on France, conquer their territory, and then swarm over the Americas because I want I want to see that whole line of you know, uh, you know, fifteen twenty stacks of troops landing on every single coastline city of India. <laughs> I want to see that. I think that would be quite good. There you go. See, so they're starting to reinforce their arm. Ha ha! The terror guy tried to sabotage a building and got himself shot. Key do key. If anything, I'd like Naples and Sicily to push Italy back, Spain back, sorry. All hands on deck. Smart decision uh, for these guys to all travel in one big clump, but I am definitely going to fight this because they've not got much in the way of uh, troops to stop me. I have no cavalry, cavalry it's a fairly boring army, um, but whatever, let's fight it. Also, big region. Oh, I can just recruit some some um, cavalry in Athens and run them up and around the the mountains so they don't get off. That could be a way to go about it. <laughs> Do I want to move up? The main thing here is to make sure I don't get screwed over by um, reinforcement. So I probably want to deploy here, back on this slightly downward crest. Goes up on one flank. So these guys up into the centre, way too far apart. It's so about here. About here's just right. A less good view, but then they might just end up having to stick to stick with round shot, but that's okay. So let's just line these guys up. And they're going to do some real damage to those troops coming in. And these guys will have an alright angle on them, actually. As will these guys with quick lime shot. These other guys can focus fire their artillery over here, which is probably what they were doing anyway. Oh yeah, damn right it is, look at that. They're also turning to fire against this new army. Oh. Shrapnel shots coming in and being very, very, very devastating. I want to watch your quick climb come in. Could have worked in the animation a bit better, a bit more, couldn't they? <laughs> he's like he's 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 gesturing where the shell goes. It goes in there. Artillery. 
There we go. Because they're all bunched up. Oh, yes. Yep, yeah, feel free to march up and close the distance. My troops will destroy you with superior firepower. Oh, that should have been... I only got the back of them. Slightly missed. God, some of them are just annihilated. Coming, some of them got killed before they enter the battle. Holy moly! Yeah, modern artillery is just devastating. Modern with you know inverted commas. So you're on. Quick climb and open fire on these Seminis. There we go, another regular line shot start line which we start to kick in. Hit and hit, that would be devastating, but, but I'm not gonna because they're only just um, these are only the armed populist units, so I'm not so bothered about them. These guys are the more the bigger threat, even then, it's still a threat with inverted commas. Okay, go on, let's fire at you then. Nice turkey shoot to level up some of my own troops. If they get close to threatened my artillery, then this, this unit will come into bear. Oh man, that should have been a good shot. Nope, there you go. Fleeing. May as well make these guys shift targets onto the rest of the troops. Accidentally almost darn retreated them. <sighs> moly moly. Oh, they're coming back. Devastating fire from all directions. Nope, don't worry. One flanking unit of Bashi Bazooks. Be interesting to see if they actually make it to the fight. Don't think so.
Like my whole battle line is ranked up in one battle, I think. It's a major officer. Oh, let's follow these guys. Oh, these guys look good. Oh, these are the guys that... These, this is Ottoman infantry right here. These are what I think of in my head. So they got a bit of a defilade from the hill. Canister shot on that unit of Delhi horsemen. Nah, you do canister shot onto those semis. Oh, got him. You get back to manning your cannon. Oh, you're routing. Fair enough. You got charged by bog standard troops while I wasn't looking. Let's put you on a round shot and let's start having you pound their enemy artillery unit. Same with you, actually. Just hope they've not reloaded. Oh, they have. So they, my my, Delhi horsemen being cut down. This is a general's unit, but not an actual general's bodyguard. Are you ready to open fire? One of the guns is. Devastating shot. More fire. So this is the, the captain of the force. Oh. Oh. While well, his mates are taking the hits. Oh, one of them wasn't firing. One of them wasn't firing shrapnel shot. Let's speed up time because I don't think there's going to be much else happening. Top fire. Get my general to knock out their um, cannon. End it. There's not many men to be slaughtered that. Nice chewable force. Lost 130 men for 2,600. Let's see, one, three, four pound of full artillery went up by two chevrons, 256 kills. Holy moly. Who got the most kills? That art my artillery, some line infantry. See my howitzers are, are uh, didn't get many. Ma oh, it's because they don't. This only counts for round shot. I oh, see. That's why you don't get true kills. True, because always there'd be the the MVPs for many many battles. See why is this fifty fifty? Why is that fifty fifty? That makes no. S hmm. Showing my head to the people, it is worth seeing. French Radical? I thought the Radicals won. Maybe not this particular chap, clearly, but... 
thought it was the uh, I don't know God alive These guys intend to achieve. Well, see what they intend to achieve. I presume this is their last, their last hurrah. So let's start zigzag this a bit. So I'm probably going to have to move these guys up to here. Militia heavy left. I'm keep these guys firing round shot. See if I can get their experience up a bit. up times for the lines to engage because realistically there's no way they're winning this so and then just let my artillery open fire But yeah, they probably didn't have any choice, because if they didn't attack, then they would lose the fort, so... Let's watch these guys. What oh, was the house the shell falls in. I could be playing this more efficiently by mixing, uh, by moving troops around and stuff, but at this point there's not really much need for it. The line infantry I've got will be more than adequate. As they fall, rank by rank by rank. Oh, the howitzer comes in to cause lots of damage. Bouncing hearts are shot. Trouble is, there you go. Can you see? Even though they're out of range of the musket fire, if you fire at these guys and miss, the balls do still keep going. They get the end of that. That was 50 50. The odds, I mean, you know, it could have gone either way. That could, yeah, who knows, you know, how that was going. I mean, no one wants to be hasty. 31 guys, 1164. Serbia's mine. There we go, now the full Ottoman forces are being unleashed. Opportunity to intercept. No. So I can't move my troops, but I also, it means I get another turn of. Um, replenishment, so some of my units looked a bit weak. See, the Russians are really building up in Copenhagen. Good. Hopefully there's an amphibious assault on Norway. No. Oh, no. Just dropping them back off into Sweden. Good. 
Oh, they're up and pushing in Stockholm. As long as I don't get too busy in Europe. I don't mind putting pressure on the Prussians, but I'd rather them not take too much of the territory. Oh, opportunity to intercept. I'm definitely going to take take advantage of this opportunity. Um, but I think, looking at the timer, that would cause me to overrun by quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is end the part slightly short, and then next turn we will see the defence of Amsterdam, because this is such a nice way to chew up armies. Radio. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next part. We will destroy this Westphalian force.